Tonight, the story of art that's got the power to show us a different perspective and even change minds. One woman has changed how we view graffiti art and its impact on our community. And she is the focus of this week's Snapshot New York with Steve Overmeyer. We are in Astoria, Queens, underneath Hell's Gate Bridge. Some called her the queen of the night. I'm just an artist. Her name was known throughout the city, but few had seen her face. To some, she was a hero. Others labeled her an outlaw. But everyone agreed she became a force to be reckoned with and known as Lady Pink. I grew up in this neighborhood. I lived in a private house, so I would jump out the window with my bag of paint quietly and go to the worst neighborhoods of New York City because that's where they park the trains. The work she's doing here isn't illegal. In fact, it's a commissioned work of art. Painting a beautiful mural with my assistants, Chloe and Matt and Nikki and my husband. Graffiti or street art, with permission, can be a platform and a voice, and I've used it for activism. Now I'm doing about mental health issues and about burnout. Burnout that college students feel, burnout that even grown-ups feel. I hope to inspire them to get some help and reach out when things are overwhelming. They are not alone. There's always someone out there that cares for you. Lady Pink's career started when she was 15. She was the only female capable of competing with the boys in the graffiti subculture. We would go climbing walls and going through some crazy missions just to get into a train yard. Then you've got to paint your thing in the darkness very quietly. You know, you hear rustling noises and you hope it's not the police and hope it's only some rats that are scurrying at your feet. Her art made a statement giving voice to a view of New York from a woman's perspective. It made her art into a beacon of hope and a source of pride. Graffiti art was born in New York City, invented by teenagers when the city was in a dark, dark place. And then there came this energy, this creativity out of nothingness, because it's in all of us to create. Graffiti really refers to the stylized lettering, wild style. <laughs> It also happens to be the title of the first motion picture on the hip hop culture. Lady Pink had a starring role. We're trying to do a lot for the community now. We're trying to, the community. yeah, trying to like liven up a few things, make it a good job. Going to try to make it a living, I guess. One of my favorite scenes is you are 16 years old and you are saying, "I want to do this for the rest of my life." I, I want to make a living doing this. I didn't say that in that movie. Really, did I? Okay, so it's true. I am. I'm doing this for the rest of my life. 43 years, I've been going strong. She had her first solo gallery show at the age of 21. Her work has since been shown in the Whitney Museum and the Met Museum of Art and sold in the high-end art world at Sotheby's. Lady Pink is the prime example of how art can change minds because she helped transform how we looked at graffiti art and all street artists. What was it like to see your train go by? To see our subway trains ride by for anybody was you turn into a five-year-old kid, you're jumping up and down. I did it. I succeeded in the middle of the night under such stressful conditions. It's an amazing feeling watching your train roll by. Street art is done by everyone for everyone. It is up and down the streets. Like you yourself said, you lived with the murals that I've been painting here for decades in Astoria. And that is my whole purpose of being. Lift up spirits, beautify communities, become part of your life in that I have beautified your neighborhood. Man, what a life. Coloring our world. What a story, love it.